Hello and welcome to the Contingency Plan. This video is in regards to the 24-hour clock, or as some refer to it, military time. In many parts of the world, the 24-hour method of telling time is the standard. In the United States, only certain groups or agencies utilize it, such as the military, law enforcement, hospitals, airlines, and other entities where avoiding any confusion between AM and PM is critical. On countless occasions, I have seen the hours on a storefront say open from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. when what they meant to say was 12 a.m. or midnight. Instead their signs said they were only open for three hours. This is the sort of thing that can be avoided using the 24-hour clock. The phrase military time is generally used only in the United States since most other countries simply refer to it as time. If you already utilize military time or know it like the back of your hand, this video isn't for you. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and feel free to watch something else. For the rest of you, this will be a quick tutorial on how to read 24 hour time. One day is considered 24 hours. So in my opinion, breaking it down into two 12 hour segments makes no sense and that is where the confusion comes into play. Setting your phone alarm, for example, can lead to setting the incorrect wake up time if you do it while you are exhausted or not fully paying attention. If you mean to wake up at 6 a.m., it's relatively easy using the 12-hour clock to accidentally set your alarm for 6 p.m. Using the 24-hour clock, however, this is virtually impossible. Now on to how to read and say the time using the 24-hour clock. As with the a.m. and p.m. version of the clock, a new day starts at midnight. Midnight can be referred to as 0 hundred hours or 2400. I prefer 0 hundred because it indicates the start of a new day more clearly and because one minute after midnight is 0001 and not 2401. The first 12 hours from midnight until noon are the same on both versions of the clock. The difference doesn't start until you reach 1 p.m. or 1300 hours. Basically all you are doing is continuing the count of your 24 hour day without starting over with p.m. at noon. The time from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., for example, would simply be 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on until you reached 24. One way of doing it until it becomes second nature to you is by subtracting 12 from the current time. 1800 hours minus 12 is 6, or 6 p.m. To me that's confusing, and an easier way is to subtract 2 from the second number. Subtract 2 from the 8 or second number in 1800 and you get 6 or 6 p.m. The easiest way of course is to just consider 1200 hours as noon and continue counting up from there until you reach 2400 hours. So 2130 would be 930 p.m. As stated before this will simply become second nature to you after using it for a while. In an apocalyptic scenario assuming we still had a method of keeping track of time and date I can almost guarantee you that the 24-hour clock will become the norm because most individuals that are prepared to survive such a situation are already using this method of telling time. Due to this, it would be to your benefit to learn and start utilizing this method now. One of the easiest ways to learn military time is to set all of your electronic devices to the 24-hour clock. This will allow you to learn the conversion very quickly and simply. As you can see here on my phone, the time is 2.59 p.m. or 1 minute to 3 or 1500 hours. The correct method of using the 24-hour clock is to eliminate the colon between the hours and minutes, but you will, however, still see that done often as you do in this example. One last thing. You will sometimes hear a phrase such as or similar to zero dark 30. This is a military term that does not indicate a specific time, but basically means it's too damn early for whatever it is you are doing or that someone is suggesting you do. Thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe to our Facebook group at the link below in the description. Peace!